Nancy Pelosi spent over eight hours on the House floor speaking on behalf of Dreamers and DACA. We've got Alyssa Milano, RuPaul, and other stars cheering her on. Now this is what leadership looks like. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, 77, spent over eight hours on the House floor reading letters from Dreamers and imploring GOP Speaker Paul Ryan, 48 to allow a vote on keeping the DACA program alive. She used a rare procedural privilege plead the case that the chamber needs to vote on the program for undocumented childhood arrivals, which is expiring soon. She read several hundred letters from adults who were brought to the U.S. as small children and have gone on to achieve and contribute amazing things to the only country they've ever known. Many of the stories included children who rose to excel in school and graduate at the top of their classes. Many had gone on to top universities and some had even received law degrees and were practicing members of state bars. Some had gone on to become teachers, paramedics, nurses and other fields where having a DACA permit has allowed them to get professional certifications and licenses. If DACA expires, these hard-working people contributing to our society could be deported to countries they've never known, where many of them don't even speak the language as all they've ever known is English. Those with professional licenses could find their careers in jeopardy. After her eight-hour, seven-minute filibuster-like speech ended, she was given a standing ovation by Democratic House caucus members for her Herculean effort to put human stories behind the people Trump wants to deport. She broke a record that had been held since 1909 when a Missouri congressman talked for five hours and 15 minutes. When told at that point of her new achievement she joked that she wondered that his speech 109 years ago was about, turns out it was trade and tariffs. Oh, and she spent all of that time on her feet without any breaks and wearing 4-inch heels. Celebs took to Twitter to cheer on Nancy's efforts as the hours went by. When she finally finished speaking at 6.11 p.m. EST, she then tweeted out a message of appreciation to everyone, writing, just seeing all of these hashtag go Nancy go messages. Truly very moving. But let's not lose focus of who really matters here. Thank you to our hashtag dreamers. And thank you to your parents for allowing us all the pleasure of having you be a part of our American family every day. Hashtag dream act now. Actresses Alyssa Milano, 45, Julianne Moore, 57, actor Sean Astin, 46, and more celebs took to Twitter to show their appreciation for what Nancy was doing. Were you impressed with Nancy's DACA speech?